Everybody's a winner. Even if they lost, they are winner. And also those winners that gave it, gave it, at Lance, <coughs> every step they make on that, on that, there's a healing. Because every time when we step on a mother, there's something that we step on. It's care, it's love, her love. He did look after us every day. The lance is being carried. Our lance is carried by our strongest, our youngest. Flying Dust has chosen one of their best, best, and has sacrificed his life to protect our country and our freedoms of the world. He's a young man by the name of Charles Gladue. in the military in the Canadian Armed Forces. has served to protect our country and our freedoms. That strength, that perseverance of the warriors is embodied in this young man. And all his... And all his fellow runners, I'd like to name their... their, their, their again. Running with Charles Gladue, our A.J. Moran, A.J. Moran. Dale Apsis, Anthony Campbell, Apsis, Joshua Eaglechild, the Lance from Lac La Ronge, and their runners were Darren Cook, Lionel Roberts, Craig Halkett, Lloyd Halkett, Halkett, Wade Halkett, Absalom McLeod, Sh Philip Roberts and their captain was Jarvis Roberts. I'd like to ask all the people to stay off the tracks. Keep the track clear. Comments that we've heard, you know, people have come around and have, and have helped uh, to organize these games and to, to help put these uh, these facilities in place. There's uh, a lot of excitement in the air. The community is really um, really excited. Uh, like like when you walk around and you you, you see the kids or his kids or his they're they're very happy. These games are here. Like most of the committee, most of the committee have all participated in previous games, and uh, when you uh, you get caught up in the excitement and in, in the uh, competition and uh, the winning aspect of the games, the athletics, I forget the the spirit of the games. You know, like the the original intent of the games. I'm sure. Was a was a gap was a gap place you know of different uh, you know you got all your relatives together and you got everybody around everybody around it was a, a good time for fellowship and visiting and and sharing things you know and uh, we wanted to try bring, we wanted to try bring to the games you know that original uh, feeling of friendship and unity you know and kinship. And in that and in that honor of visiting from camp to camp, the traveling, use of canoe, the horse, walking, the many muskegs, muskegs, and rivers and lakes, these are the main highways of our peoples of our people.
fast. And now we have paved roads, gravel roads, and airports. But the challenge is still the same of greeting, of greeting friends from camp to camp. This is the best way to keep the agility of the agility of to keep the friendship and the news and all the latest of the camp developments, the newborns, the newlyweds, and the latest ones of the people have passed on. These stories were kept alive and the and the stories that kept the news a going were these runners, runners, the runners from camp to camp. Today we're in the heart of the north of the north region of Saskatchewan, on the edge of the Great Plain, Plain, boreal forest to the north, the mighty rivers that flow east and west from the mountains into Hudson's Bay and to the far north, past the clear water, into into. This displays our attributes and our tradition is brought alive at the Saskatchewan First Nation Summer Games and it's embodied in this Lance Run. Run. Lance Runners. To keep the memories alive. Strive on and the endurance through the rain, the sun, the heat. They're making their way to the site. The Lance in hand representing the ancestors and breaking trail for the trail for the making a journey that unites our people our nation our nation country and all humankind under peace and unity and friendship Our, our 27th game, 30th year, 30th year. It's something that's really left a legacy for our people. It teaches uh, our youth the importance of teamwork, and I, I think that's very important to our survival as First Nations people, to learn to work together. Because if we don't work together as First Nations people, we're not going to survive, to survive the, the issues that we deal with. So. That's important. That's important. SIN has played a big role in, in uh, bringing bringing their First Nations together, and that's that's a very proud legacy for us. I think the children benefit from it. Uh, many of our leaders, our present leaders, have participated in in some some athletics in the game. So, in, in that respect, it teaches you that leadership as well. So, also, We're very fortunate. We're we're very fortunate to have the games and the organization that, that supports it and the people who support it, the parents and parents and, and the leadership of our, our first nation. Father of our nation. He's called Mandela. He's called Madiba Mandela. He said, don't be scared of who you are. It is your light inside you that scares, scares you, not your darkness. He challenged us and he said, who are you not to be gorgeous, talented and fabulous? You are a child of the creator and playing small isn't going to serve the world. Nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people don't feel uncomfortable uncomf you. And as you let your own light shine, liberates other people as you arrest you arrest and fear your presence releases others this year's summer games theme is peace unity and friendship in the spirit of the games 
We want to promote peace and unity amongst our athletes and friendly comp competition petition. But we want you to leave here with a sense of peace, a sense that you come here to compete, but you leave here, but you leave here with friendships. We have to acknowledge and thank the Flying Dusk, Flying Dusk, opening up their home fires to all of our tribes, and and announcing all the tribal councils come in. Many tribal councils, three, three, four, five, six, eight, and ten. But as well, we acknowledge the different tribes, be tribes, be three people, Soto people, Danasutlene, Dakota, Lakota, Lakota tribes, Nakota tribes. We are 110,000 strong, strong. And every time we bring our people together in this circle, our elders lead us, lead us. Those lance runners, we have to acknowledge and thank those lance runners. Because what? Because what? A very big task. Running from Lac La Ronge all the way here to fly. Here to fly. That lance symbolizes the unity of our federation. It brings our people, brings our people from the north, the south, east, and the west. That's what these games have come to symbolize. Investing in our young people and keeping the unity of our federation strong. Finish running the 400 meter race. How'd you do? I had two. I had two. Wow. Where are you from? What's your name? I am from Battleford Shovel Council. Shovel Council. My name is Jeff Muswa. Uh, and uh, yeah, I had, yeah, I had. Right on. You having a good time here? Saturday? Yeah, yeah. Having a very good time. Very good time. I consider these the one of the best summer games so, so far. Yeah. Just let me say, just let me say, congratulations first of all to Flying Dust, our host this year, and to the Metal Lake Tribal Council. Congratulations to all who have organized these great, organized these great games. But congratulations most of all to you who will compete. You are athletes here. You have trained hard. You have worked hard to come to this day. To this day. And I congratulate you. Our province is proud of you. You are leaders to leaders to among First Nations youth. You will be leaders of First Nations tomorrow. Tomorrow, you will be leaders of Saskatchewan tomorrow. And we congratulate you. Congratulate you. One of you, I say, peace, unity, and friendship in the spirit of the games. Games. God bless. Let the games begin. The 2003 Saskatchewan First, Num First Nation First Nation games are officially open. Yeah! All right, the beat and the competition of the games are games are. Come on, all black. Juvenile male 100 meter final. Sarah. 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 Top caliber athletes here. Um, there's a couple of girls and guys that are running some extremely competitive times. The uh, 
400s, 800s, 15s, 3000s that we had. We had um, a couple of very competitive times in each of those. Well, we've seen some great, some great this year. I, like, I'm a track person and I used to run tra uh, tra uh, cross country with the U of S and I really like watching the 8s, 15s, 15s. And I hope some of those people we saw, uh, I can think of Jade Brown, I can think of uh, Valdine, I can't remember her last name, and uh, a couple of boys, one from the one from the club. I sure hope they stick with the track, and uh, I think um, the sky's the limit for them. There are a lot of things going to be available to them in terms of scholarships and future possibilities, and I know there's more of those kids out there. Seen, there seen a few others. There's a couple of other boys, I, unfortunately I don't know them by name, but terrific stride, terrific stride twos, fours, and eights, and if they would just go to work, they have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, you know, provided for them just from that ability that they have. Thanks for all the effort you guys did. What? Give it a hundred percent. Let's let's do it. Hello. One, two, two. Mike Taylor from Saskatoon and uh, and uh, I've been refereeing a lot of the younger players uh, under tens girls girls having a lot of fun out there they're, they're learning to play the game they're learning all the skills it's a lot of fun for the parents the players are having a good time and there's lots of fun for us referees that have been refereeing a long time to to young girls and just see them having the ball. They'll grow up and make world-class soccer players, we never know. I want to see you guys bounce this time, all right? Move yeah, your hands like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah move like yeah, that. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, Goes yeah, like this. Y'all yeah, ready? Y'all yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the lyrical pow wow. We came to represent. It's so evident. Yo, yeah, who rocks the spot? It's, it's the lyrical pow wow. We came to represent. It's so evident. Evident. Rocks the spot. Here I come to save the day. I'll be good off of one more day. Like 
go J in the car. Oh, oh. yo, it was a slip. I'm in great defense. Like in the rain, catching wreck. Catching wreck. Hurry, it's got things to hurry. Gonna get buried in a hurry. I don't know how that never stop. Off my block, kick the flip. Block, kick the flip. They were sick. Watch me drop. This style like a baby drop. The bottle goes spin on the bottle. Who rocks the spot? It's the lyrical power. Who rocks the spot? It's the lyrical power. Who can't you represent? It's so evident. Yo, who? Yo, who? Nobody can do this like a woman can. You think you're the man? I got the mic, mic in my hand. hand. You got to understand that your style should be banned. It's the girly MC from the Turtle Island. Rocks. Like a 747. My style's so fly. I make you think that you're in heaven. I rock, hit your tail oh. like an F5 twister. You better call it sister. History <laughs> maker, I shake pride. As if my mind's a rattle. MCs, I battle. And they start to paddle. Cause they're up, they're up. Cause I seek perfection. I got mad right. It is just uh, something to see. We just traveled around to look at all of the uh, facilities, uh, all of the different sporting events, the uh, the uh, uh, campgrounds where all of the athletes, uh, the athletes' village. It's an amazing thing to see. Um, and really, what it does for me is it points to points to the province. Our young Aboriginal people are uh, a growing part of our population, as we will as we will. Um, and I believe they're one of the largest assets that we in this province have have. So great to see them here competing, having fun, fun, interacting with each other, uh, young people from all across the province. Uh, it's a super event and the organizers certainly need to be congratulated for a first class show. The, the torch uh, and it signifies, I think, the Olympia, the Olympia, I think it signifies the spirit of Aboriginal people as well. Uh, my name is Mary Sutherland. We've asked every day to uh, guard the flame because we were told by another person that, person that elders should be guarding this flame. So we check in at the security office. We we ask for the sir, the sir. Flying dust has done just uh, a mark. A mar of hosting a major, major provincial event. And I find that the area is very convenient. Um, everything seems to be set up and organized here. Uh, very good. Um, the people are very friendly. Um, I made a lot of friends, so did my children. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's been a really positive experience for our kids. Uh, they've they've had a lot of fun, and they're making new friends. Um, things, you know, just all around. It's been a good around. It's been a. Good. Anyways, that's Quinn Bear. She's having a. How are you guys doing this year? We're doing really good. We're leading in a lot of points. 18 probably or something. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You guys have a good weekend. Can you tell me about what happened? Well, there was a lot of rain. A lot of rain. It was really fun. I liked it. Did you have, did you have entertainment? Could you talk about it? Well, War Party was pretty good. I liked it. Uh-huh. And, I don't know, there was a lot of... Yeah, good.
good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, uh, they treated the, the elders very good. I really appreciate how they were friendly, hospitable, and very friendly. All in all, good news. the games and for, for youth and excellent and <laughs> for the youth for the people here for Metal Lake for everybody it was just excellent excellent a lot of fun a lot of fun yeah yeah so now what no I think with the facilities that are going to be left here people can dream again that what are we going to do next next already talking things like the possibly national softball uh, men's softball and there are a lot of other things that will open up, that will open up. the uh, you know availability of the uh, resources and that and the, the, the it'll be great for the town of Metal Lake for the, uh, uh, here and uh, it's just a, something to look forward to Oh, it was great for the youth. It was good for to help them grow and to uh, just get more exposure to professional sports. And I thought it was very professional and uh, for for future endeavor, future endeavor. Now what? Now what? Now I guess 2005. 2005 games, and I'm not sure where they're at, but uh, it'll be two years of hard training for the kids from here now and, and uh, to be able to participate then in uh, 2005. How'd it go? Uh, it overall went went really well how do you feel and, about uh, tired uh, tired okay. but um, um, that uh, things worked out nobody got hurt and I think uh, the kids are happy the athletes had had a good time so Did you have a good time yeah it was tiring uh, our scheduling uh, had to move around move around start um, very early in the mornings and then uh, uh, he was going right till evening so being a host you know all the volunteers and all the people that helped out uh, I think after today we'll we'll be resting up <laughs> <laughs>